final four robots are Royal Pain, the Flipper of Wheelie Big Cheese, Bot from the Blue, and the only seeding machine left, Witch Doctor. Revolutionist becomes the first ever champion of the series. It's been all about the flipper. Chaos 2 defeats Revolutionist. Championship number 2. Can anything stop this machine? The underdog of the wars has come out on top and defeated Revolutionary. After years of almost getting there, Storm 2 rises to the top. We have a brand new champion for the sixth war, Challenger. Revolutionist has defied logic and achieved the treble. This is it. Welcome to the grand final of the Eighth Wars. Through the dense fog, we've witnessed some of the most bruising, punishing and shocking arena smashing moments we've ever seen in the series. We've had twists and turns and robots have suffered more holes in them than a pepper pot. It's been a tad warm at times, a tad brutal and for the first time ever the arena has been relentless to our seeded machines. 36 robots entered, 12 of those were seeds but now we're left with just one. The house robots and the arena hazards have been instrumental in helping our robots prevail. We've had the flames, the pits of oblivion, the spikes, the floor flipper, and not forgetting the amazing weaponry we've seen and the array of weaponry on offer throughout this, the eighth series. The road to Armageddon has been a minefield, and now we are left with our furious four robots. For the first time ever, none of the top four robots feature in our grand final. Such has been the ferocity and the tenacity of our new robots, the arena, and veterans who have much improved. We've seen it all, so sit back for this, the grand final. The arena has witnessed all sorts. This is the lineup. The four top robots from the 8 series. Were you expecting any of these machines there? Only one seed remains. We will have a brand new champion tonight. All of them on the quest to hold this trophy. Let's introduce our robots for the grand final. Witch Doctor. Spinner, seeded number seven. The only seed left in the competition and probably the most experienced robot in tonight's final. And probably its most famous victory came against Disco Inferno in its heat final. This is one to watch for tonight. Wheelie Big Cheese Flipper. Virtually untouched since we last saw Wheelie Big Cheese in the fourth series. It's been here before, but did you expect a robot like this being in dormancy for so long to make it all the way once again? Bot from the blue. Flipper. Words cannot describe this machine. It does what it says. It has come from a bolt from the blue so fast. And just look at the robots 
it's defeated to get to this point. Onslaught, Battlebot, Storm 3, and of course, the champions. Royal Pain, Axe Bot. Probably the surprise package and the underdog for tonight's final. Royal Pain have a devastating weapon. They showed it off in fine style in the heats. They defeated the fourth seeds Thor 2 and veterans Chaos 2. Watch this in the final. We can now reveal the lineup for the grand final, and here it comes. Oh, look at this! It's the battle of the flippers. It's Wheelie Big Cheese versus Bot from the Blue second, and then the seeded machine of Witch Doctor seeded seven versus the Axe of Royal Pain. What a lineup this is! We fight until there is a clear winner. There is no judge's decision, so it's a fight to the bitter end. What a lineup! Robot here. Stand well, I'm absolutely terrified. Why? I have no idea who is going to win. I've been commentating for so many years on this, and this is the first final I can honestly say I am bewildered. Matilda is not bewildered. She'll kill whoever comes in her path. And shunts will stop for no man. Here we go. Three, two... What? It's the disc versus the axe, and this is the first of our eliminators. Remember, we have no time limit, so we fight to the bitter end already. We can see the Royal Pain side panels are being ripped off. The floor flipper came into play there, but this weapon, you know, on Witch Docks has much improved since the last wars. This really is a devastating weapon. It is so small. This is the flip we saw, and some of Royal Pain's armor comes flying off and actually gets wedged. Inside the floor flipper and two axes now coming in on a witch doctor. This will be the surprise of the night if Royal Pain could win this fight and get through to the final. Oh! Oh, now I think. Yes, look, Royal Pain's weapon has just been ripped away. I don't think it's self inflicted. I don't think Royal Witch Doctor did anything. Was it the floor flipper or a shunt? That caused the damage. The rogue robot has been activated, which means, of course, one of the house robots now can come out to play for 10 seconds. And it's coming after Witch Doctor Shun now coming in for the kill. Oh, he wants to get right stuck into the axe. The, the, the weapon of Witch Doctor in the disc now stops. And Shunt done the damage here. I'm not too sure. You mess with the rogue robot and the house robots. You will pay the ultimate price. And once again, the fog of war now coming into play. The button being pressed twice can our robots see through that fog i'm not too sure what can royal pain do now as the oh, buttons Olivia. pressed again the pit goes down this time around so watch that big black hole in the arena the flames coming on now what can royal pain here i think it's in a bit of a daze here is the witch doctor cast a spell i think it was a spell really if you think about it that caused the axe to come off because no one else did that witch doctor not yourself to blame you know Oh, Matilda nearly flipped. Now, Witch Doctor have no armor. Did the Shriemach come off now? Matilda had flipped Witch Doctor over. That would have been devastating because there's its Shriemach arm and debris all over the arena. No, I think this is one heck of a machine, Witch Doctor. You know, all that damage has been caused by Witch Doctor to Royal Pain as they come in now. Witch Doctor really now, I think, is on top. I, I don't think. I don't think Royal Pain. Well, the flipper goes off again. It flips. And Witch Doctor, the Witch Doctor's, well, the Royal Pain's weapon gets flung into the air. Witch Doctor has to be really careful here. And once more, the button is activated. The Fog of War goes off again. See, this is the, the danger of the Fog of War. It, it lose your, your perception on what's going on in the arena. And in goes Royal Pain. They're in the pit. That was the whole point of the, the Fog of War. And it's just done that. You've lost your way in the fog and you've driven on the brink you're in the pit nearly you're on the brink of disaster royal pain i don't think you can get your way out of the pit that is oh what a shame but you activate the fog of war the fog of war and it's an, it's an arena hazard royal pain you should know this you should just stay stationary but you've not and in goes royal pain well that's a, a great victory from witch doctor that was special, that was brilliant. It ended really after Royal Pain's weapon just came off. And then look at this, wham, Shunt's axe 
And then just here, the disc. It just stops. And if you thought that, well, should definitely do the damage because uh, Witch Doctor's weapon did not work after that impact, nearly flipped by the house robots. The house robots came into play. That fight really could have gone out anyway. It really could have. Witch Doctor, the weapon destroyed by Schultz, but in the end, Witch Doctor, too strong. And there it is on black and white. Royal Pain out. They'll fight for third place. Which shots through to the grand final. Next up, Wheelie Big Cheese and Bot from the blue. This is going to be a flipping good fight. Roboty, stand by. Two of the biggest, best flippers we've seen this series. Much improved, I think, for Wheelie Big Cheese. Two. Oh, only one can progress. What is going to happen here? Matilda oversees the carnage. And so does Shunt. Shunt being very cheeky. Obviously, off his last bit of damage caused to Witch Doctor. Are they are they sensing them up? Are they coming up with a plan, I think? Three, two, one. The message to the house robots, do never, ever mess with us because you'll pay the ultimate price. Witch Doctor nearly did. And we can see Wheelie Big Cheese with the flip coming in. But no, it's Bot from the Blue who gets the first flip in. Look at this power. That's Wheelie Big Cheese. That's one of the biggest flippers and robots in the competition just toying with it like a toy well it is a toy no denying that wheelie big cheese flip once again look at this it's the second blood to wheelie big cheese one each look at the power oh. and into matilda's corner patrol zone well that's just bad luck bad timing in comes wheelie big cheese once again on top of Bot from the blue now, Bot from the blue getting in with the flip. Who has got the lowest ground clearance? That is the question, but no. Oh, is the flipper coming? No, it's not. It's the back panel of Bot from the blue. That was a huge flip. So close to going out of the arena, and so is this one. Well, mind your head. Goodness me, I've never seen so many flips, but look at this beautiful self-writing. Bot from the blue, so quick. It is like a bolt from the blue onto Ref Bot's head. That's not going to... That's going to have a play right with the ref in towards Shunt now. Now Shunt's done the damage before Wheelie Big Cheese, is it? I think Shunt's made a hole in the back there, Wheelie Big Cheese. I think Wheelie Big Cheese will be okay. The experience here is showing they're desperate to get out of the Eliminator fights. Like from the last time we saw them in the fourth wars, they lost their opening elimination in the grand final and ended up coming fourth place. Can they go one better bot from the blue? We just have no idea where this robot's going to end up because this is new heights. This is a brand fresh new robot. One of the most impressive robots we've ever seen in the world. No, that's it. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone out the arena so quickly. Cease. Oh, goodness me. Bot from the blue. That's your fifth robot out the arena now. I need to lie down. I really do. What more can we see from this machine? We been jeez, we're so close there to getting Bot from the Blue out of the arena. They failed to do it. Bot from the Blue took advantage. And from then on, it really was to and fro. They tried to use the corner patrol zones as well. Bot from the Blue with Shunt's axe once again playing a part. Did that do any damage? Did it slow Wheelie Big Cheese down? I'm not too sure. These were some brilliant flips. Some of the best flips we've seen all series. <laughs> it's just... How on earth? Nothing was shaken loose inside, but this was the flip. And just like before, out the arena. Wheelie Big Cheese just could not cling on. There it is. Out of the arena and confirmation. They will once again have to play for third place. Bot from the blue will advance once more. And earn its, well, its first place in a grand final. But just to confirm, the third place playoff is Royal Pain and Wheelie really Big Cheese. Just a break now, and listen, it's not all been serious. Who's on the lights? Who's on the lights? Start. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Three, 
two, one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got to the blue one. Oh, shit. oh dear. Sorry, ref. Oh dear, that's not gone well. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Challenger, for coming this year. So, back to where the action is. It is the third place playoff, and it's Royal Pain versus Wheelie Big Cheese to earn their third place on the podium. The flipper against the axe in the arena. Looking to saw through you, it's dead metal with his circular saw and pincers. And the final won't be the same without Sir Killlot ready to do some damage. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wheelie Big Cheese are looking to at least win this to get further than they did the last time we saw them. And of course, well, the last time grand final we saw them where they came fourth place. But with this bombardment, this relentless attack of this axe of royal pain, very unlucky, I think, to lose against Witch Doctor in the Eliminator rounds. I think they could have done much better. But at the moment, they're doing really well, aiming for those wheels. Now, I've said this before in the series that Wheelie Big Cheese's wheels are indeed exposed. How nothing's happened to the robots because of the exposed wheels has surprised me a little bit. But that certainly surprised me. How on earth did that flipper came off? It's just been ripped off. What's happened here? Can we have a look see what's going on here? I'm not too sure when, how, it sort of came in and flipped. I'm not too sure. No, I couldn't see it. The, the flip, it just came off. It must have been the axe. It must have been the, the devastating blow of the axe. This just caused Wheelie Big Cheese's flipper to just come off. I can't believe it. And without the flipper to help himself right, the, the wheels aren't touching the ground and RefBot now has seen this and now comes in for the count. Oh, which means Wheelie Big Cheese comes fourth once more. That is a shame, but you've got to give it to Royal Pain. This is a brilliant machine. They've come third. An unseeded, untested machine as it spins in the barrel. That's great to see. It knows it's come third. It knows it's at least got the, the well not the, the certainly the bronze medal and well deserved and in come the house robots to torment and kill wheelie big cheese they're ganging up on them and this which royal pain should I say spins once again it knows it's won but x marks the spot here wheelie big cheese any minutes oh and it's a cooker Washing machine, I think it was, coming crashing down. Killer lots being brutal as ever. Oh, but Royal Pain fighting back against their house. Look at this. On the attack of Dead Metal, I think Dead Metal's just been knocked out. I think Royal Pain's immobilized Dead Metal. Well, I've never seen that before. <laughs> it's great control, great skill as the Fog of War now comes into play. Well, it's a little bit redundant. It's a little bit pointless. It's great to see, though. They're coming in for the kill now. The house robots trying to get some sort of revenge, but really big cheese here, certainly on the edge of oblivion. The house robots fighting back. Look at this. Dead metal now comes back to life. Oh, Royal Pain have had such a good campaign. I hope they come back and see us again. That all rhymes. Kill a lot now coming in for the kill. Trying to get Royal Pain out of the arena from the attack on Dead Metal and it flips over. Look at this on the cancel right from there. We've seen it once. Look at this, it's scuttling across the arena floor. Oh, it's brilliant to see. <laughs> that was fantastic. Look at this self right with the help with the wheels. That's why they're exposed on the side of Royal Pain so they can self right. Brilliant stuff. Of course, they beat Thor 2 and Chaos 2 to get to where they are now. They just couldn't get to the top. Maybe more experience next time will prevail. But in the meantime, we still have to dispose of Wee Big Cheese on the flame pit, up in a burning puff of glory. We love it. What a fight. What a third place playoff. Wee Big Cheese suffers to the drop zone. Beautiful.
there we see it. The fight has ended and we can confirm for any of you taking note of the stats, the Wheelie Big Cheese comes forth for a second time. Royal Pain into the top three robots for the series. But now it's time to go over to something rather special. Today we are celebrating 100 episodes of the series. And to mark this special occasion, we've got some awards to give out ourselves. It's the return of our special awards for robots who have performed or done something worthy of a mention. And here's how it's going to work. We have eight awards. We'll have nominations for each award. Best Fight, Pinball, Skull and Crossbones, Best Performance, Warrior Award, Original Weapon, Best Newcomer. But first, it's the most improved robot. So a robot that we've seen before in the wars, but has come back much improved. And the nominees are... APD3, Panic Attack and Roadblock. APD of course coming back with the Flipper, Panic Attack with the Side Skirts and Roadblock with that secret weapon. Who's the winner? Oh, it's Roadblock. Well, we thought it might be. Of course, in the heats, we saw it erupt into action against Cassius 2. Fantastic. Our next award is for the best newcomer. We've had many newcomers seen in the Eighth Wars, and quite a lot have performed very well. And our nominees for the best newcomer are Bot from the Blue, Ramsey, and Trax. Of course, each robot memorable for their own way. But who is the winner for our best newcomer awards? We give it to Bot from the Blue. Of course, we've seen it perform and seen it kill quite a lot of famous robots, deservedly winning the best newcomer award. Next, we go on to the original weapon. This is to a, a weapon that we've not really seen or something that, that that's, that's original. Now our nominees are Minotaur, Ramsey for a second time, and APD3. An original weapon, of course, APD3 with the anti-pit, Ramsey with the forks, and the ability to self-right beautifully, and the drum spinner of Minotaur. But the winner is Ramsey. We were so impressed with the way that it got through its first round and self-righted with an incredibly original weapon. So well done to Ramsey. Well-deserved win to you for the original weapon. Next. It's the Warrior Award. This is a rather special award as we commemorate three robots who have fought in every single series of the wars. All three win this. Revolutionist, Dan Top Gear and Onslaught. This is how they appeared all those years ago in the first series. Revolutionist in the second round there. Dan Tonk here in the opening round. They didn't get far that series, but they've kept coming back. And of course, Onslaught versus Pussycat in the second round. So three winners there and well-deserved win too. Next, we have our best performance. This is, of course, as it says really, to the best performing robots that we have seen. Bot from the Blue Witch Doctor Royal playing very tough to decide here, but the winner is... It's Bot from the Blue, it's second award, mainly for this amazing defeat against the ex-reigning champion now revolutionist. It was over so quickly. The quickest fight in the history of Robot Wars. That was the best performance. Next, the Skull and Crossbones Award. Awarded to a robot who really didn't turn up to the series. Pinch Onslaught. And would you believe it, Challenger is nominated. The winner is surely not. It is Challenger. How do you go from a champion to Skull and Crossbones winner? And this is why they lasted less than 10 seconds in the first round and were out. That was it. We could not believe it. Challenger unfortunately win. We next move on to the pinball. Of course, we know who won this. This was Pinch's moment in the spotlight. They featured in the last run of the pinball, defeating the house robots, getting the big points, and earning a very good 350 points. Well done to Pinch. And finally, we have the Best Fight Award. 
three fights nominated for the very best fight that we saw in the series. The opening fight with Disco Inferno, Impulse and Pinch, Razor against Witch Doctor, Wheelie Big Cheese and Tombstone. And the winner is... It's Wheelie Big Cheese versus Tombstone with that immense flip that we saw and Tombstone of course, hot favourites, being flipped clean out of the arena. Congratulations to all of our winners. But now, after six heats, semi-final and the eliminators, we come to this. The top two performing robots of the series come head-to-head -head in the grand final, the main event. Each hoping to take away our trophy. And boy, what a road they have had to the final. Witch Doctor, Spinner. Seeded number seven. Witch Doctor, of course, came into the series as a veteran, as a seed. They performed incredibly well. They defeated Radar Response and they went on to destroy Impulse. The power of this blade was evident right from the word go. We weren't expecting this, though. The defeat of the runner-up from the last series, Disco Inferno. Shocker. Even more so was the annihilation of Razor from this incredibly destructive disc. And then, of course, Royal Pain. What from the blue flipper? But I think the most impressive robot of the entire series. Bot from the blue. It threw Storm 3 out in even the first round and the house robots and of course Onslaught. Every single fight this machine has been in has flipped a robot out of the arena. That is the way it has basically ended each of its fights. Then BattleBots suffered the same out the arena in one of the most untimely flips, unluckiest flips. And in the final, the heat final, Storm 3 fell out the arena. The Storm was calmed. Bot from the blue was then up against the champion. Once more, the flip was final as the champions were tossed into orbit. Finally, in the Eliminator, which we've just seen, Wheelie Big Cheese also went out the arena. Can this be a full house for Bot from the blue? Or can our seeded machine, our seventh seed, prevail and stop this run of flips? As ever, we have four house robots in for the final. Dead Metal, Shunt, Matilda and Sir Killalot. What a final this is going to be. Robot E, stand back. Three, two, one. It's officially the most open final we've ever had. We've never seen robots ranked so low, perform and come through in the final and impressing us so much. They have blown away the competition. They have destroyed the seeds. And now we can see that Witch Doctor is on top. Can Bot from the Blue get up from that? For the first time, I think in this whole series, Bot from the Blue is under real threat here now from Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor's armor's come off. Oh, and kill a lot. Kill lots coming from the rear and destroyed the back panel of Bob from the Blue. Bob from the Blue now here in all sorts of trouble. They're going to have to self right because this is close to 30 seconds. 29 seconds on the clock. We could have had a very big anti-climax for the series. One more second. Bob from the Blue would have been counted out. Matilda now coming into the... This is the thing you see. You've got four house robots to contend with for the final. Matilda helps out. Bob from the Blue is... Well, it's a bit startled, I think. I think it this was, thought it was going to be a bit of a breeze in the park. As both robots now are upended. Matilda now comes in for the kill to try and help out. Well, it certainly helped out. Witch Doctor as it comes crashing towards the camera. Oh, I watch it. Camera's expensive, both these robots. Be careful. It'll come out of your pocket, money. Well, really. But from the blue, coming in for the kill. Now trying to get underneath Witch Doctor. It's trying so hard. I think the lowest ground claims. We've seen it, you see. Before in the past, the lowest ground clearance. Witch Doctor's incredibly low. Not as low as Matilda, though, as it comes in for the kill. Matilda now in towards the corner patrol zone. Witch Doctor now needs to get more points. I think Bot from the Blue has done very well to get back in this, you know. Witch Doctor now spinning out of control, toing and throwing. That's great skill from the house robots. See a kill lock. Have a bit. Oh, and another flip from Bot from the Blue. Now I think it's just about on top in what has to be the longest fight. Bot from the Blue has been in in the entire series. 
This is the, the ferocity of the grand final and Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor, so impressive, much improved. And of course, Bot from the blue now, trying to get his flipper back down to the earth and hits Witch Doctor with a bang, really. The flames look on as it goes in very well avoided the flames. The pit of the living descends. The button press and the smoke fills. So Roboteers have an extra obstacle to dodge and the flip. Attacking both robots, but Witch Doctor has got to be very careful. We've never actually seen their self-writing arm come into play this series because, of course, they've not had to use it because the arm has just come off. Oh, but Dead Metal now getting in underneath. Buff from the blue now trying to flip. Dead Metal's been turned over for the first time ever. Dead Metal, the sturdiest, widest house robot is no more. I've never seen a scorpion on its back. Well, Dead Metal has never been humiliated like that before. And Bot from the Blue now trying to salvage this grand final fight. Look at this, another flip. Oh, and it slams down. Well, this is one of the best fights, grand final fights we've ever seen. Witch Doctor's going to be very, very careful towards the pit it goes. It's skirting oblivion. Has Bot from the Blue been knocked out? The back completely exposed from the attack on from Killalot. And another flip here. Witch Doctor overturned. Like I said before, no Shremak arm. It keeps the, the back armor keeps coming off, which is why we've never seen it come into play this series. Towards Matilda again. Oh, Bot from the blue now trying to... Uh, the flipper has come back down. Oh, Witch Doctor's so close. Remember, we fight on. We fight on until there is a clear win. And we could be going on for ages. And another slam nearly into the pit of oblivion. They're skirting oblivion. Toing and throwing from Killalot. Matilda, the pit. The floor flipper. The flames. Every hazard. Every house robot coming to play. But finally, Witch Doctor has been overturned. Look at this flip as it lands dead metal look at the sight of dead metal and another flip nearly in the pit there's its armor confirmation it has no armor to self right and refbot's coming in what's happened to refbot's counter it doesn't matter it's still working which means eight nine ten we have a brand new champion in the wars and so well deserved we saw this robot from day one. It has flipped everyone, including Dead Metal, which of course has never happened before. We've seen this robot perform right from the word activate. It stunned us all in the heat, and it has never, ever let up. It has never disappointed. There was the flip that we saw that nearly could have ended both robots. It was such a big flip. I think Refbot's on the edge of the pit. Dead Metal's overturned. What a fight. Bot from the blue. Wins! Oh, Refbot's gone in! He's... Oh, Refbot, you need to retire. Oh, goodness me, you've, you've, you've had it! Witch Doctor, <laughs> pitted, Bot from the blue, is our 8th Wars Grand Champion! I can't believe I'm saying that. Well deserved! What an amazing campaign they have had! They have been brutal, they have been wicked, they've been so quick in their disposing of robots, including the house robots and dead metal. That is a sight for sore eyes. I have never seen that before. Well, we can safely say we've seen one of the most unpredictable, shocking, fun series I have ever had the privilege to commentate to. Bot from the blue, deserved winning the 8th Wars Grand Champion. And there's the trophy. I've been Matt Unsworth. Thank you all so much for watching the Eighth Wars. It has been an absolute pleasure. As we say goodbye, well done to Bot from the Blue.